Hello everyone, and this is another tutorial from DMV Photo Booth for sale. What we're going to go over is the basic, basic screens, what the user sees. The screens di displayed to the user are defined by a series of JPEG images stored in the Photo Booth Images folder. I like to keep these images in what I call my Basic Screens folder. Okay. The JPEG images should be the same size as the screen resolution. You right click on it, you see the resolution is 1650 by 1050, and that is my touch screen resolution screen resolution size. If they are smaller than the screen resolution, the extra area will be displayed as black border and a warning message will be shown in the bottom left hand corner. If the images are larger than the screen resolution, the extra area won't be visible. You can check your screen resolution by right clicking on the Windows desktop and selecting personalized and display settings. Okay, so we have a number of screens that are displayed here. Right? Uh, one, uh, two, three, four. All of these images are what the user will interact with and see when they interact with the photo booth. So the first screen we're going to start with is the Ready JPEG. The Ready JPEG, this is displayed when the photo booth is ready for the next user and normally has a simple instruction telling the user what to do. As we can see, we're telling the user press the start button to start the photo booth. 1, 2, 3, and 4.jpg, these images are displayed during the countdown before each picture is taken. Once the photo sequence has started, JPEG 1 is displayed during the countdown before taking the first picture. 2.jpg is displayed before taking the second picture, etc. The countdown message defined in the photo booth setting is displayed centered on the screen during the countdown. Okay, the next uh, screen we are going to look at is taking. Okay, this is displayed a couple seconds before taking each picture and is usually used to display a message to tell the user to look at the camera or simply a blank screen so that the users aren't distracted. Release. Optional image display when the instruction to take the picture is sent to the camera approximately one second before the picture is actually taken. The live view on most cameras will freeze just before the camera takes the picture and this can confuse some users. To avoid this, the software will automatically hide the live view display if a release JPEG image is defined. I usually have it defined. So it just comes up with a blank uh, screen after uh, uh, the, the, the taking and the actual one, two, three, four is released. Processing. I like to keep this light and airy. Uh, this is displayed after the last picture has been taken while the images are being prepared for printing. The screen could display a message like all finished, please collect your prints outside. And for the most part, I don't do anything else with uh, the camera not connected because our camera is always going to be connected or the welcome screen because it's always going to uh, be active and live. And the other images you see is the background.jpg and the sample footer.jpg. We'll go over those or go over these in another uh, session. Thank you uh, for attending this uh, uh, video tutorial and we look forward to you seeing the next one.